Hi everyone, it's Angela from Cocoon, and as you guys may know, we are currently running a cereal drive in partnership with the Chester County Food Bank, and today we're here to learn more about their efforts and how they're serving our community as a whole. Oh, wow. So come on, let's go inside and check it out. Hi, Andy. Yes. Angela from Cocoon. We're very excited that you're coming to see us today. There's just so much to see here at the Chester County Food Bank. We're going to go for a walk in our warehouse and you get to learn all about us. Awesome. Let's do it. So Angela, this is our warehouse. This is where all the magic happens. Folks that are gonna to donate to us, they can pull their car right up here, and then we can unpack and weigh everything that they bring to us. Wow, that's awesome. How many times a week do you typically have deliveries coming? So they're constant. Our commercial kitchen, we're gonna peer in through the doors. Okay. They're uh, hard at work in there. They're plating meals for our Simple Suppers and Meals on Wheels program. We supply these healthy choices to seniors, veterans, and folks all across Chester County. After Hurricane Ida, mm -hmm. we have folks living in hotels Yes. So we've supplied these for folks that don't have their kitchens and they can use a microwave. That's great. And these ladies right here, they're amazing volunteers wow. that are the lifeblood of the Chester County Food Bank. The need only continues to grow and we're serving over 50,000 people annually. 50% wow. of what we distribute is fresh produce. We really pride ourselves on our mission of real healthy food. How in the world do you keep that fresh? Well, let me show you. We have a little secret. And what you're going to see in here is this is where our proteins are stored and right now that means it's turkey time. 3,500 turkeys are wow. in here right now. You know, unfortunately, most of the time people think about this during these 30 days of the year and we really need them to think about it every month of the year. That's the greatest challenge yeah. we face. Right. So what you can see, you know, we've got this bounty of items that are ready for Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but throughout the rest of the year, we're not seeing the same influx. And you don't see on this table things like cereal and breakfast bars and oatmeal and you know the items that kids need to eat every day. We were surprised to learn what you just said about everyday food. I just know for my kids like how much cereal we go through in our households. We're trying to educate the community to think in terms of what would you want? What do you need to sustain your family? There's no cereal on this table. We have all this generosity um, but we need it to be considered all year long, not just at the holidays. Clearly you are blessing the community in countless ways. It's really the community that is blessing us because we couldn't do it without the community support. Yeah. We're just the shell in the building, but it's a yeah. community effort. And that's why we're grateful for you guys to do you know, the cereal drive because that's really where the gap is. We are just excited to be a part of it in a small way. We hope that it just spreads some more goodness and cheer in the community. So thank you. Thank you, we couldn't do this without you guys. If you want to help, join us at Marshall Square Park on Saturday, December 4th for Santa in the Park, where we'll be collecting more breakfast items for the Chester County Food Bank. Festivities kick off at 4.30, so donate some cereal, grab a photo with Santa, and celebrate the holidays with your neighbors. Hope to see you there!